Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be continuing with part two of the entities. And there is one thing that we have to do. From when we left off, we basically have our entity here, right? We can move him. He updates well. And we're rendering him with the world matrix. But there's a problem. And it's not specifically with the entity class. But there's a problem with the scaling. Right now, we have it set to where the axis align bounding box would scale according to our transform scale. Well, it works, but not correctly. So currently we have our player, regular player, but if we take the transform and we set the scale, Two. We'll go with uh, two and two. Now, if we run it, the player doesn't follow it. it looks like this and this is not what we want we want the player to be scaled and he's being scaled correctly but he's also not being scaled correctly and so this is a simple fix in our transform we have target scale and target translate just swap them. And then everything should work. So essentially, we were scaling first and then translating that scaled model. But instead, what we have to do is translate the model first, then scale it. And that will give us the correct position for the player. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going to scale him back to 1. So, let's go back to the entity. And I want to separate the collision. Because I also want to have entity on entity collision and it would be better if we took this out and put it in a new method and I'll call it collide with tiles and it'll take a world we'll paste that in and everything will be fine Another reason why I'm putting this into a new method is because we're going to have the world handle every entity. And we'll get back on that when we have to touch the world. But for now, I'm going to pass this in or call it in the update. I'm also going to move the camera set position from entity to player. I'm 
Ah, that's why. Change these to protected. So that way, any child class would have access to that. Okay. So now everything should be the same. Make sure the camera follows the player. And we're good. So now let's have the world contain all of the entities. So in the world, I'm going to create a private list of entity and I'll call this entities. Make sure you import the util and not awt. And we have our list. I'm going to initialize this list to a new array list. And we should be good. So now under the level loader, which is right here, I'm going to add an entity. So entities add, and I'll add the player. Okay, so now that we got the player, there are a couple things that we need to do. In the render method, we'll start with that first. After we render all the tiles, we'll have to iterate through all of the entities within the list of entities and render each entity. Next comes the update method. We don't have an update method, so I'll just create one under the render. And this will take in a float delta. What else should it take in? What does the entity want? Window. and camera. So this is our update method. So I'll iterate through all the entities again to update them. So now under main, we can get rid of player. And now we will we'll replace this with world.update and get rid of the last variable in there. And look at that the player is now being handled by the world. We could also add more entities to the world. So I'll add in a test entity. I'll create a transform first. Entities add We'll add in our new entity, new animation, one, one, file name, 
an and then our transform and it'll take the update method and I'll have him move well I'll have him move to the right times delta have him move five units I don't see him. Okay, I'm back. So, the problem was I had it at positive and not negative. So, make sure you have that negative or he's not going to show. All right. So, let's continue. In the entity I'm going to I'm going to get rid of everything in the update and I'm going to make this abstract. And I'm also going to change the class type to abstract as well. So, now that it's abstract We can't have that anymore. And we can't have that anymore. So, basically now, he's the characters are not going to collide on anything. And we're going to set it up, set up a little collision system for now, so we can work on this in the next video. So it's going to be a for loop. For integer of i equal to 0 i is less than entities the size of entities i plus plus and we'll just get the entity at i and collide with tiles this and that should be it. We should still be able to collide on the tiles. And we're good. In the next video, we will be doing entity on entity collision. Yeah, so we'll just be going over entity collision and then we can continue on with the last level loading video I'll see you in the next video